Now then, we've got our lab coats on because it's time to uh, enter the wonderful world of science. Yes, after a leading professor said last week that there should be more real science in schools, we're joined by Zoe Laughlin from the Institute of Making. Good morning to you. Well, I'm Zoe. slightly Is worried it... about the amount of people that are standing behind the cameras here. They've taken a good ten steps away from... They I mean, have... we don't normally have that many people in here. What is it's... this all health and safety? <laughs> health and safety, medics. medics. Right then, what are we doing? Well. I've spent all morning developing a new workout craze, which is monster slime mixing. Yeah. Give it that a go. Is a bucket of slime. Get those legs yeah. working. I'm in it. That's I'm in it. it. That's it. I'm in it. Oh, we are look creating at that. It's a like polymer. The slime here. Work. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're taking our monomer molecules yeah. and we are turning them into a polymer. Mm -hmm. And I want to show you the effect yeah. in slime that something like adding baby lotion can have. So it alters the viscosity. Viscosity is all about how flowy, how runny liquids are. Uh -huh. Right. So hopefully this is going to be a slime runny enough to do some impressive drippage. Oh, Ooh, I like a bit of impressive, impressive drippage. drippage. But I need your help, Phil. We need to tip this into the basket. Holly, you will be on the paddle. Oh, I'll help okay. scoop it in. Oh, oh my gosh, I've Here we touched go. the... Okay. Right, oh, get the slime in. Nice. I mean, it sort of just walloped out. So you've oh, seen... so satisfying. Can you smell the baby lotion? Yeah, Is a little bit. Is that what it's made of? Is that what you've got in there? Hang so on. So it's baby lotion, PVA glue... Yeah. ..and, and or is a that... bit of borax. Yeah. And that's what... Oh, my God, Zoe, I'm so sorry. Just... It's all right. That's OK. I think we filled the basket. Oh, this it's all good. coming out on my shoe! Oh, it's <laughs> on my blasted shoe. <laughs> <laughs> right, raise the slime! Raise the slime! Here okay. we go. Oh, look at that! Now, I might have made it a bit too viscous, but we couldn't test it. This is for live TV, one oh, time only. it's like a rain cloud. Wow. I really want to run through it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do that. But of course, oh, so this look at monster it. slime, these are the long chain polymer mo molecules that we've made by adding the borax to the... Oh, it's so cool. Now it's, it's like, it's just amazing. <laughs> I want to touch it. It's really beautiful. Isn't it really beautiful? And it smells of baby oil. It does. It smells lovely. Right. right. Let me show you something one. else. Yes. Come round. <laughs> how, uh, <laughs> how easily does it come off, Chloe? It doesn't, trust me. It's all over my carpet at home. Lovely. Um, right. um, sorry. Next I wore up. my own clothes Maybe. today as well, Marvin. Yeah. These are my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Next start, Bill. This is the latest in architecture, design, construction. Yeah. The future is growing your own home. Oh. So the actual object of the building, like the bricks and the mortar, trying to grow structures. And this is a brick mm -hmm. made of the vegetative part of a mushroom. So mushrooms that we know and Can love. Can I touch it? Yep. I was expecting it to be squishy. Mushrooms that we might eat, they're the fruit of the mushroom. Right. And then below them is this vegetative network. Ah. And this network... Makes the, it makes these blocks, so you can grow it in any shape. Really? So and, it's, grow... and it's strong enough to build out of? Well, this one's designed to be insulation, because it has oh. another amazing property, which is it's basically fireproof. Wow! It's like uh, Star Trek Discovery, the mycelium uh, network. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Slowly creeping right. up. So what I'm going to do like, oh, to God, hopefully demonstrate how thermally insulative this is, yeah. I have a chalk ice, now yeah. it's a bit slimy, I'm going to place that on so there. So what should this do? Melt the chalk ice? Well, it hopefully won't melt the chalk oh. ice. Watch out, Phil, here yeah. we come. Now, this is a blowtorch that's creating about 1,000 degrees Celsius of heat. So it's smoking... I mean, it's basically on fire underneath, but it keeps putting itself out, putting itself out. And it just naturally does that as a, as a... And it's not hot above, so the heat's not coming through. And this is made out of mushrooms. Made out of mushrooms. That's incredible. So much so that there's no chocolate there. Mmm, perfectly. That's very Edible clever. Look at, look at that still dripping. I know, it's creeping gorgeous. up on us, Phil. It's so it's like... made smoke, but it's self-extinguished. How clever is that? Do you know what? We can't even use a toaster in this building and you've just set fire to that. <laughs> We're going to have to... That's true. That <laughs> is true. Get a big fan. <laughs> but right. big building projects like Grenfell Tower, where the cladding yeah. was so flammable, yeah. to find materials which can put themselves out is really important. It's really important, mm. yeah. And is that a relatively new discovery? Yeah, people, this is cutting-edge stuff. There's yeah. little people all around the world growing it now. Wow. This next, this is one of my favourite things that someone's given me recently. This is straight out of a science lab where they're doing experiments with lasers. And it's just a piece of glass, but it has an amazing optical property, which is light travels through it in this amazing way. So I'm going to place it on here. And are you on pip cam? Now, what's happening is it's the image of whatever's on the other side of the glass is being 
transported to the top. You're not looking through it, you're looking at an image projected onto the surface. Is... Have a little go. How Hannah, is it it's... projecting itself on there? So the light's being channeled, it's fused fibre optics. So fibre optic cables, I mean, the image is probably running down fibre optic now on the, all the cameras, it's being channeled to people's Because it looks homes. like you're just looking through glass, but I can see when you move it to the edge, it looks like a TV screen on top of it. Yeah. And it's, it's like a... a Analog screen. There's no what electric. Would you use that. What's that good for? What can you? What's that? At the moment, it's used in lots of optical experiments where they want laser beams to be directed in certain places right. and do all kinds of calibration, like measuring how what big the world is and that kind of like ginormous bits of physics, but also really small bits of physics. I know it's very slippy. Uh, sticky, sticky. Right. <laughs> slippy. Right. Your trainers too. So right. in fact, this it's worth remembering that we've got slippy feet and being cautious in this area. Holly, if you come round this side of me. Okay. This is uh, where so it starts just, to get uh, dangerous. Just say now, um, do what you're about to see, do not try this at home. First test is getting the rubber gloves on. Oh. If, if you can't get in, just do a bit of a blow. That's oh. it. And got right. glasses on, because what we have in these three conical flasks is hydrogen peroxide. Oh. Which is a very corrosive chemical. Mm -hmm. It's and used for bleaching yeah. hair, but that's at low levels. This is right. really high concentration stuff, so glasses on. And stand back. we are going to do a demonstration of ripping oxygen out of the hydrogen peroxide. You can come a bit closer. All right. <laughs> um, what, what happens when you rip oxygen out of hydrogen peroxide? You Nuclear create explosion. A oh huge amount of gas. Huge amount of gas. Smelly really? gas? Really? Perfectly fine gas. You're, okay. It's just, yeah, just uh, oxygen. OK. But the volume of this gas, we're going to try and trap in soapy water so we can physically see it. OK, so what I want you both to do is, first off, grab the little bottle. This is some food dye, yeah. just so we can tip that in. Pop it in your Pop one. Pop it in your, your one, yeah. Okay. All of it? Uh, a little bit? A little bit, half. Okay. Right. Right. Pop it under the table. Pop it under the table. Oh, got to get started. And then tiny swill. Gently does it. Why? Why, why, why? Because it's very corrosive, that liquid in there. You don't want it coming out. OK, OK. OK, gently does it. Now, your soap. Liquid soap. So we'll put a good, healthy glug of that in there. Big squeeze. <laughs> So this is just making this solution okay. soapy. So oh, when the gas is produced, again, bang. we'll put that down there. When the gas is produced, this will hopefully trap the gas and make foam. Right. OK. This is going to be... have to swirl again. Go on, then. Gentle this time. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We got, we got it. We got it now. OK, is so... This, it's not April Fool's Day. I'm just checking. I'm just <laughs> checking. It's not going to happen. Right. So what's going to happen next is we're going to have to pour in the catalyst. Mm. So this is potassium iodide, not yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've got to do this together. Yeah. And then run. And then step back. But us with slippy shoes have got to step back... Carefully. Gently, yeah. But don't take your eyes off what's in front of you. So it'd be one, two, three, pour. And yeah. then get step back. Step back, but keep your eyes on it. Is what's in here corrosive? No, no, right, no. So I can take this back with me. So let's take those back with us. Oh, OK. okay good. Right, everybody ready? One. Three. Oh, hang on. What are we going on? <laughs> <laughs> I know. One, One two, two, three, three pour. Go. OK, OK. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Whoa! Wow! Oh, wow, we. Oh, my gosh, look at it! OK. So what is that? That's soap suds now. It's a huge amount of what soap. What the suds. hell just happened here? <laughs> we made an ex yeah, yeah, a Look, a, look, a look at the replay, look at that. Where's the red I mean, water? I know that it, a lot of it's gone through that safety netting, by the way. I think it went up over the top. It went over it. Down inside, actually. It did. It really did. That was over five metres. It's so spurt. cool, it's still going. So you can hear the bubbling noise. It's now safe. I mean, don't eat it, but it's so Why did it change colour? And can you feel the heat? And the steam coming off, that's it? because of the heat of the reaction. Oh, yeah. Why has it changed colour? It was red. It was red, but I don't think we put enough dye in. But this is oh. the natural colour that the reaction produces, this yellowy this colour. This yellowy colour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's, that's, that's a good. beauty. Have you got more of this stuff we can do? Not today, but another time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Always. Will you Always. come back? Yeah, oh, absolutely. please. I, I just, loved it. I just exciting. love these. Very good. Thank very you very good. much, Zoe. Very good. And you're from? The Institute of Making at the UCL. The Institute of Making. How brilliant is that? Yeah. It's an institute you want to belong to.